was saying, I think there's going to be a lot of saliva in this video because as the title says, we are going to be making DIY veneers. Now you guys are probably like, what to feel like, what are you going to do? You want to put like chewing gum on your teeth? Or are you going to put like fake grills on? How on earth do you make fake DIY like veneers without it going absolutely crazy and the answer to that is by ordering yourself secret veneers so even though this isn't technically DIY like yes I did order this stuff this is a lot 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 cheaper than going and getting veneers done like in a um dentist my sister has veneers and like yeah they're great they're amazing um and i don't think she had to pay for hers because she got hers for free because of like her following or whatever but um i would just love to see how these work like i follow them and i followed them for a really long time i've had this package for a while now to actually go through and like they're constantly posting on their instagram they're constantly like you know showing different videos on the story of people's kind of like transformation smiles and to me it looks almost like too good to be true so instead of you having to pay i think it's around 200 pound to 300 pound to buy your veneers but the cool thing that they do is if you then buy it so once you send this kit away if your veneers get broken or lost or whatever it is they keep your impressions on file so that you can get a replacement set so you don't have to go through all that weird like ugh, yucky thing again but instead of paying full price i think you only have to pay like 100 pound for your second set which is like unbelievable but we're going to go through the kit now and see what you actually get in it so this came a wee while ago it literally did not take long to come i don't know if that's because like this is like there or let me do this as a review or if they actually just have that speedy of uh like shipping so what i got in it was first off this little sheet that says like thank you for choosing secret veneers the only provider of clip-in veneers in the uk made by a dental lab so these are actually made by like dentists i think it says complete this form take your impressions using the instruction video on the website okay so i'm gonna have to go on their website we ask that you give us 14 to 21 working days to allow us to craft something that will enable you to smile for a lifetime. 21 working days to me, like doesn't sound like a lot, like waiting for parcels for longer than that. And information, so your colour or shade option that you have chosen. So on the website there is like different colours. There is, they have BL1 which I think is like the whitest colour. I personally think I'm going to go for the BL1 bleach because the photos sometimes they look too white but then there's a snapchat filter on it and then i'm like they make your teeth look whiter anyways and then sometimes they don't like look that white like they look just right so i'm like yeah that would be perfect and then the the one below it sometimes looks white enough but then it doesn't look white enough so i think i'd rather have them too white than not white enough so these are the colors here if you guys can see um, they have colour BL1, colour A1 and colour A2. You get from mine Sophia Mitchell but like I said I wasn't sure if mine came a bit early because it says promo on the side. Um, again I'm obviously not going to give any, like I'm not going to say anything that isn't true. This is only going to be the start of the video. You guys are going to have to wait for when the veneers actually come and I try the veneers out for a day or whatever. But this is just the process of actually making my own veneers. So you get like the two little trays. If any of you have had braces this is what they use. I'm guessing this is the top one. Oh my god these are so big. Mmm. like that then what you get is you get three little white putties and three little ooh, little red putties now I'm gonna have to go on and watch this and kind of see how I actually do it and then we will come back to doing it got Beth to come and help me because to be honest this is pretty intimidating and I do feel like I'm gonna mess up uh, what you have to do is and let me tell you about this, right? Because I feel like I'm going to get poisoned and that this isn't actually what I was supposed to get. On the website, it says you're supposed to either get yellow. Well, it says normally blue, 
but sometimes yellow. So why the heck do I have red? What's it's the white stuff like, for? So what you have to do is with the white and the red you have 30 seconds okay. to mix these together to form one colour. Roll it into a sausage, get this, put the sausage in this and then I have to practice it. I've got the white one, <laughs> she's going <laughs> to get the red one. Oh my god, gimme gimme gimme. Sophia's not coming I out. I can't get it out. Yeah. <laughs> is that all the red? Yeah. Right. Right, do you think that's mixed enough? I do. Right, roll it into the sausage. Put that in the camera. It's going to come out in the sides and it's going to be so satisfying. I'm scared, I don't think I'm doing it right. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Is it because it's coming out of the bottom? And it's not seeing like the inside of your right. It's went down your throat? Yeah. Like the Did it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, why is that? I told you mine wasn't red. <laughs> Let me try. Mm -hmm. I'll go put my scoop What? What? I'll go put my scoop on. Oh, or do you have to pull it this way? Pull it. No? Mm. Yeah? Oh, it sounds like your teeth just came out. Yeah, it sounds like every single one of your teeth got ripped out. That's how far down my throat that was. Yeah. Right, bottom. One, two, three, go. You see the bottom of your gums? You see the bottom of your gums once? Yeah. Tight. Yeah. I think it's time to take this one out. Mm, that one doesn't feel as tight. Does it not? No, but too easy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so guys, I just wanted to tell you how scary that was, pulling that out of my, like, pulling that stuff out of my mouth. I literally thought that all of my teeth had, like, fallen out, and the noise that it makes is just so scary. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Beth even thought that, like, something had went wrong, because it makes such a loud noise, and it's just so scary. And, like, as you can see, the fear in my face, like, I genuinely thought, like, something had went wrong. And, um, I kind of cut it because I didn't want you guys to see me, like, freaking out. Because it's not a scary process. I'm just a bit of an overreactor. But I felt like I just had to, like, wake up while I'm editing this and explain to you guys that it's not scary. But the noise just kind of freaked me out at the beginning because it was so loud. Thank you. So I am just back from 
Washing the impressions, um, when I took the bottom one I, I kind of freaked out because I can understand how difficult, difficult it is to know whether or not you've done this right. Um, this is my bottom one. So first of all I freaked out because there is still a bit of white there. And then as well like why are mine so curved over but then like when I put them in again they still kind of fit. And then it's like have I done it right or... Do I do it again? This is my top and this is my bottom for anyone that wants to see my teeth. I don't know like about you guys. I'm super excited to see what way these come. If these come and they're really cool then oh my goodness like great. And then if they come and they're not really cool then like oh not that great. But I feel like they have to be amazing. I mean like these have been seen on X Factor, on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like these have been like these are used by like a couple like big big people and as well like there's other youtubers i've seen do this as well um but i don't know like i i, I don't know like i i just it's almost too good to be true if you guys want to see them when they come then let me know and i will of course show you them and uh if you guys are interested i will also put the link down below so that you can try and make your own and see how they turn out that is the end of this video this was making my diy uh veneers I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, there's still toothpaste on me.